Yeah, Cynthia, being on the ground here, you can just stand in front of the wreckage and feel how horrific this accident is. That charred 18 wheeler is right behind me and it looks like it was carrying just from what we can see in our camera viewfinder here. It looks like it was carrying letters and envelopes. A USPS supervisor, it appears, is on scene, but it is not confirmed just yet if this was a USPS truck or if the driver who died in this crash uh, is an employee for the USPS. We do have video, though, of this crash happening in real time. We want to show it to you and give you a warning. It is pretty unsettling, unfortunately. You do see the semi truck fly off of US 75, clear a traffic light, and then land right here onto the ground, and then it bursts into flames. There's some eyewitnesses here on scene who say that they tried to go and help this driver, but then explosions started to happen. The flames were too great and they were unable uh, to provide any aid. We know now that that driver has died. Currently, right now, we know that there is cleanup and an investigation underway into how this all happened. There's a lot of police activity on US 75 right now, and folks are kind of paying attention as to where this, uh, this semi truck flew off of the highway and on to the ground and I think investigators are trying to figure out just how this all happened but that's also causing a lot of traffic back up. Ariel Placencia in the studio for us. Ariel what can you tell us? Yeah, hey, Matt, so we've got, as you mentioned, a lot of traffic delays. You'll take a look at the camera behind me. You'll notice that traffic only getting by very slowly in two of those northbound lanes. You've got those emergency crews over there on the right side. And just for perspective, my colleague Matt is just below where you see this right here. And as you can imagine, as he mentioned, it's causing significant delays, especially on 75. So I'll show you my map here. Take a look. You'll notice Sam Rayburn Tollway right there diagonally across the top of your screen. And then all that red, the backup is all the way to Spring Creek Parkway in Plano. So we talked about miles and miles of traffic. That's certainly the case. You'll notice on the right side of your screen, that's going to be an alternate route that people are trying to take. But unfortunately, we're seeing backups there as well. I'll zoom in here. You'll see all that red. That's going to be Greenville Avenue that turns into McDonald Street. It's going to slow down right there at East Stacy Road. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get off and avoid this crash. But Izzy, uh, this, this is unfortunately sad to see that video and also causing a lot of traffic headaches. Yeah, just an absolute devastating crash this afternoon. Again, the driver of that semi dead, a lot of traffic delays, and we will keep you posted on this story throughout this newscast.